What is going on, my family? Welcome back to another exciting Tekken 8 episode here. Here we are going to talk about the pro player Spaghetti Rip and what he has come out and said about a character that he doesn't like in Azuzina. And when I seen this tweet, I was just like, whoa. Now, I will say this. Spaghetti Rip, gets he gets savage in this tweet, but he doesn't really get that savage. But at the same time, he comes out all the way real with it when it comes to his hatred towards Azuzina. And when I read it, I was like, OK, I didn't have no problem with it, because like I told y'all in the previous video, you're not going to like every character when it comes to Tekken 8. You feel what I'm saying? Every single character you're not going to like or historically you're not going to like every single character. There's a character that you come across that's just going to irk you, that's going to annoy you, or there's a character that you're just going to find dumb, stupid, cheap, broken. That's just how it is. That's the nature of the game. Y'all feel what I'm saying? And this tweet right here by Spaghetti Rip just practically proves it. Also, too, Spaghetti Rip is a fellow Eddie main. So, you know, shout out to Spaghetti Rip for being an Eddie main, being a long time Eddie main. And I know that he's waiting on Eddie just like I am. But but Spaghetti Rip has come on here and he has let everybody know how he truly feels from the bottom of his heart when it comes to Azuzina. And Spaghetti Rip comes out and says this about Azuzina. If Azuzina has a million haters, then I am one of them. If Azuzina has 10 haters, then I am one of them. If Azuzina has only one hater, then that is me. If Azuzina has no haters, then I am no longer on earth. If the world is with Azuzina, then I am against the world. Woo, shit, that is some more. You talk about real passionate hatred for a character. <laughs> I mean, Spaghetti Rip literally hates this character, and you can kind of tell by how many times that he uses the word when it comes to this tweet. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about it is, he's not shying away from it. He's not sugarcoating it. He's not censoring anything. And the reason for it is, is because he understands that a character like Azuzina was made for a lot of people not to like. That's just the cold, hard truth of it. Y'all feel what I'm saying? And if y'all have been following me long enough, shit, even the last couple of weeks or so, y'all already know the same way that Spaghetti Rip feels about Azuzina is the same way that I feel about Brian Fury. You know, I hate Brian Fury. I can't stand the fucking character. But, you know, people are coming up in my comment section with all that dumbass hate and shit. You feel what I'm saying? But when it comes to Spaghetti Rip saying what he says about Azuzina, you know, in his thread, there wasn't hate towards him. There was either a lot of sarcasm or people just kind of understand where he's coming from because a lot of people do feel the same way about Azuzina that Spaghetti Rip does. Now, I will go on record by saying um, I don't like Azuzina. I incredibly dislike her. I don't hate her to the magnitude that Spaghetti Rip does. But at the same time, I don't like Azuzina. I don't like the character. I think she is a very corny character. She's a very stupid character. Her moveset is dumb. And then when I go up against her, she's very boring. She's a very boring character to go up against. I don't know why Namco really put this character together the way they did. All I know is when Azuzina was revealed to the world, everybody got on her hype train just because of how she looks. And me personally, I don't think the character looks all that good. The character looks very cringe and stupid. She looks dead in the face. I just don't like her. I, I really don't. I don't like the character at all. Now, like I said, I don't dislike her to the magnitude that I dislike characters such as Brian Fury or Paul Phoenix, but I don't like Azuzina. Like I said, I've gone on by record saying she's she's corny and she's trash. I really do think she's just a trash character. And unfortunately, when it comes to Tekken 8, Azuzina is one of those characters that she's probably going to dominate the tournament scene if she hasn't been doing it already. And they're already talking about Evo Japan is probably going to be dominated with a whole bunch of Azuzina players. That's going to be a very unfortunate mark when it comes to Tekken 8. She's probably going to be the character that is probably going to dominate the tournament scene because a lot of the stupid, corny, cheap bullshit that she has. Now, I will go on my record by saying what she has can be stopped. But cheap is cheap. Corny is corny. Y'all feel what I'm saying? And it shouldn't be fair to us to have to work so hard to figure a certain move out or to do a certain move or to do certain antics 
to basically get an advantage over a character like Azuzina. You really do have to work extra hard when it comes to this character. And to be quite honest with you, when you play Tekken 8, a lot of people say that Tekken 8 is Master's Paradise. A lot of people think Tekken 8 is super aggressive. But when you go up against a character like Azuzina, you can't be aggressive because she has all these fucking moves that will basically use that shit against you. So so it's it's crazy. It's just one of them crazy type of things. You feel what I'm saying? When it comes to Tekken 8, you know, the way that the game is made, then you have a character like Azuzina that can just push that shit right back in your face. You feel what I'm saying? I want everybody to really listen to what I'm saying. I don't think she's an overpowered character, but I do think her combos are extremely overpowered to the point where every single time she combos you, she's going to get the wall. I mean, you could be at the other end of the stage. If Azuzina gets you in a combo, she is going to carry you all across the stage to the other side of the fucking wall. You feel what I'm saying? And she's going to get a wall combo off of that. And she's going to get a mix up off of that. And then when you get up, you're going to have to deal with her famous ass body lunging torpedo move. So she is overpowered in that sense. Overall, she's not overpowered. But if she does certain things, she really can be. And it is super annoying and it's super corny. And I have to be careful about what I say because people come in my comment section trying to contradict me and shit when they dumb and they don't know what they're talking about. But like I said, a lot of the shit that she does is overpowered, but overall, she's not an overpowered character. But that combo shit that she got going on, that's just too much. That's killer instinct type shit. Like Namco need to get their shit together and do something about that. Because one of the thing about it, a character like Azuzina, and I said this before about Brian Fury, their combos are so fucking long. It's like you're literally sitting there watching. You know what I'm saying? A couple of other characters are like that, too. Jun is like that. And of course, Reyna is like that, where they have these combos that you're literally sitting there watching and you forget that you're even fucking playing. You forget you're even playing the game. These combos are so long with a lot of these characters. You feel what I'm saying? And that's probably why Spaghetti Rip can't stand the character, because when she combos you, you're just going to be sitting there. I mean, you could literally go take a fucking restroom break. Come back and Azuzina is still comboing you. It's ridiculous. But like I said, after Spaghetti Rip had made this tweet, you know, his thread pretty much was pretty positive for the most part. It was a lot of sarcasm. There was no negativity in the thread. And a lot of people understood where he's coming from because that is just the nature of the game. Tekken 8 got a lot of fucked up and stupid characters. You feel what I'm saying? Whether they're new characters or the returning characters. Some of these returning characters is fucked up like a motherfucker, such as Warong. You feel what I'm saying? The nature of the game. You feel what I'm saying? And his thread is basically, for the most part, pretty positive about it. Now, here's the thing. Let me say some shit like that about a Brian Fury. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Let me say some shit like that about Victor. You know, the hate train is going to come. Now, y'all probably wondering, where am I getting at with this? Sometimes it does matter what a certain person says. Like if Spaghetti Rip says some things like this, people will be like, well, you know, we can understand it because Spaghetti Rip is Spaghetti Rip. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Would a motherfucker like C Money say some shit like this? I just told y'all in this video, I don't like Azuzina. I think Azuzina is corny than a motherfucker. I think she trash. And I already know I'm going to get a lot of hate for saying that because people going to be on that bullshit talking about, oh, get good, learn the matchup and all that stupid retarded ass shit. And you know what? While we on that subject, I need to tell motherfuckers that say that right now, because that's all we are hearing when it comes to the Tekken community. Now, when it comes to Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat or whatever, we hear it, but not as much as we hear it in the Tekken community when motherfuckers be like, learn the matchup. Let me tell y'all motherfuckers something once and for all. Tekken 8 ain't about that. Tekken 8 is not about learning the fucking matchups. And if y'all want me to explain, I'm going to explain. Y'all know what Tekken 8 is about? Tekken 8 is all about making the quickest decisions and capitalizing off of it. Plain and simple. That's what Tekken 8 is. And the reason why it's like that, that's why they added the heat system. You feel what I'm saying? 
They want to get matches over with. They want Tekken 8 to be quick. They want it to be fast. They don't want it to be slow, turtling, and standoffish. You know what I'm saying? Some people like to use turtling as a word. I use the word standoffish. The developers did not like that shit that was going on in Tekken 7. And they incorporated this shit in Tekken 8. Tekken 8 is not about learning the matchups. I'm going to tell y'all something right now. Number one, that's probably the reason why Namco added the whole punishment system in the first place when you go to the practice mode. Because it doesn't really matter. Y'all need to think about that shit. You feel what I'm saying? You can punish every single thing your opponent does in Tekken 8. And guess what? They still have the ability to come back on you within the blink of an eye and win the match. And like I said, I keeps my receipts. So I don't even know why people keep on coming at me with that bullshit because they've seen my receipts. But at the same time, that is not what Tekken 8 is about. Tekken 8 is not about learning the matchup. Tekken 8 is just simply get there before your opponent does. You know what I'm saying? That's all Tekken 8 is about right now. Now, like I said, a lot of people don't like it. I'm all for it. I actually like the aspect of it. I just don't like how a lot of things are just broken and fucked up in the game. That's all I'm saying. You feel what I'm saying? I actually like the fact that Tekken 8 is, you know, it has that mentality of get there before your opponent does. That's all it is. That's all Tekken 8 is. If you're able to get a launcher out before your opponent gets something else out and you win, Bam, there you go. That ain't got shit to do with learning the matchup. Y'all got to think about this shit. In Tekken 8, if you try to sit there and wait on certain moves to punish, you're going to lose. You're going to get chipped out. You're going to lose damage anyway. You're going to get mixed up because a lot of these characters got some broken, overpowered shit like Azuzina, and you're going to lose. It's not about learning the matchup, people. Please shut up about that shit. That's not what Tekken 8 is about. And if y'all think I'm lying... Go ahead and go into a match against an aggressive opponent and look for things to punish. You are going to lose. You're going to get chipped out, mixed up. You're going to get humiliated and you're going to lose. So y'all motherfuckers need to stop saying that shit. Stop exposing yourselves for real. Because Tekken 8 is not about that. This is not Tekken 7. This is not Tekken 6. Those days are gone. This is the game that y'all begged for. So y'all need to act like y'all want it. And stop saying that. Learn the fucking matchup because the people that are saying that shit, y'all act like y'all don't want Tekken 8 because that's not what Tekken 8 is about. And I hope people listen to that shit. And I hope people clip what I just said because that's the honest to God truth about Tekken 8. It's not about learning the matchups. Shit, when Bandai Namco made this game, they could care fucking less about us learning matchups. They want to see sparks flying. They want to see combos. They want to see anime type shit. Ain't got shit to do with learning a fucking matchup. But as I said before, I think I kind of got a little bit off topic, but it's all right. It's still a Tekken topic, so I said it. But at the end of the day, like I said, Spaghetti Rip said what he said about Azuzina, and I don't have no problem with what Spaghetti Rip said. You know, he has a passionate hatred for Azuzina, and everybody that plays this game has a passionate hatred for one character or another. Plain and simple. And if you don't, you a fucking liar. You a fucking liar. You ain't going to convince me that somebody is actually playing this game talking about, oh, I like all the characters. All the characters are great. That's like saying you like all of the beautiful women, but you also like all of the crazy looking ass women with stank ass pussy. That don't make no fucking sense. People just need to get out of here with that fucking shit. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. You're either going to like certain characters or you're going to hate certain characters. That's the nature of the game. That's the balance of the game right there. And if you one of those people that are sitting up here saying like, I like everybody in the game. I like it all. <laughs> no, nah, there's something wrong with you. It's something wrong with your ass. So shout out to Spaghetti Rip for speaking his mind and not giving a fuck about what nobody else thinks when it comes to how he feels about Azuzina. Because at the end of the day, it does not mean that Spaghetti Rip needs to learn her matchup. It just basically means he doesn't like the character. The character irks him. And I'm okay with that. It's a couple of characters that irks me in this game right now. But that don't mean I can't whoop that character's ass. Because I've shown that I can multiple times. So let me know in the comment section what y'all think about Spaghetti Rip. Basically come on here and speak in his mind. Letting it all go. And like I said, Spaghetti Rip, he didn't give a fuck. He don't care about what people think when it comes to his feelings towards Azuzina. And I'm with him on that. 
So let me know what y'all think. Leave y'all thoughts and y'all feelings in the comment section below. We can get a conversation started. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your boy for the hottest tech and a action on the internet, period. And as I keep on saying, ain't nobody doing it like I'm doing it when it comes to this tech and shit. And that's facts. My name is Demetrius. I will get back at y'all in the next video. There is more content coming. We got a lot of things to discuss when it comes to Tekken 8. So stay tuned for it. I got my rest. I'm back at it. God bless. Stay safe. I am out. Peace. Oh,